What up YouTube? This is Steven and welcome back to another video. This time I have some news regarding Miss Utada Hikaru that I would like to share with you guys. Alright, so I got this news from AramaJapan.com and the title of the article is Utada Hikaru to make first TV appearance in five years. And I'm like, hallelujah, it's about time, Ayumi. Because I've been saying this for like the longest. Um, it, back when you, back in probably like around at least maybe like April, you know, <clears throat> that Ayumi, if not really before, but whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm like, Ayumi, like she need to be doing this, that. She need, she need to be doing some TV appearances, some performances, some interviews, et cetera, et cetera. You know, some promo. But until recently, we really haven't been receiving pretty much any promo, which has been making this comeback very underwhelming for me. Because I was expecting this comeback to be like a media blitz, like a media frenzy, you know. And I was looking forward to seeing, like, you know, um, the media frenzy, media blitz type thing going on. You know, um, like I said, I'm not like a super duper huge Utada Hikaru fan, uh, but I do keep tabs on her, you know. <clears throat> And, you know, do videos about her, you know. Um, and I wanted this comeback, you know, to be, you know, an event. Um, but so far it hasn't really been like that. Um, but perhaps, you know, she's got something, you know, a trick up her sleeve or two. All right. So let's get into this article. Here we go. Utara Hikaru will be promoting her upcoming album, Batom through a variety of means, including her first television appearance in five years. So yeah, it's been five years since Utada has appeared on TV. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um, a bit off subject, but yeah, her title, the title of her album, Fatum, totally just came out of left field for me. I'm like, hmm. Again, I was expecting an English title, Perhaps a Japanese title, since all the other titles are in Japanese, or perhaps an Italian title because her husband is Italian. But we ain't getting none of that. Um, we got French. Strange. All right, let's move on to the next part. Utada's first television appearance will be on September 22nd, where she will be featured on a special edition of "quote unquote" songs. So I'm guessing that's like a TV program in Japan. The singer will perform Michi Anataba Wokimi and Tomodachi. She is also participating in an interview during the program. Okay, so she's going to go on this program and perform like three songs. So that's pretty, you know, for Utada, that's pretty good, you know, because she ain't been giving us nothing yet. Uh, so I'm glad to see Utada finally giving the fans, you know, something, you know, a bit more than just crumbs, you know. Because, you know, the crumbs, I'm sure the fans, you know, the hardcore fans will just be appreciative of the crumbs. But people who are not such hardcore fans want something that they something that they can sink their teeth into, you know? Um, let's see. On, oh yeah, I'm kind of surprised that she isn't performing the other song, um, Mata... Taraime, Matasun no Taraime, or something like that. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm surprised she hasn't performed that song. But I will say that probably Hanata by Wokimi ni is probably maybe a more upbeat song. And as well, um, probably a less difficult song to perform. Alright, next. On September 30th, Utada will appear on Love Music where she answers questions from various celebrities such as Masami Nagasawa, um, Hanari Gumi, Suyubi no Campanella, Kumai, and Chris Pepper. I wonder who Chris Pepper is. <laughs> Sounds totally Western. So yeah, um, hmm. So yeah, she's going to be answering these questions. Um, I don't know what the questions are going to be about. I don't know if it's going to be like 
strictly business type questions about her music or is it going to go into her personal life you know I'm not sure <clears throat> um, but either way it goes I'll be interested to see what pops off on that program alright in October Utada will be appearing on News Zero and performing the show's theme song Mata Sui no Turime to rhyme it. I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing this. Um, my bad. But to rhyme it. <clears throat> so as you guys may know, uh, Mutata did, she contributed the song Mata Sui no Turime for the program New Zero. Uh, and that's like their theme song. Um, I didn't know that a news program had theme songs. No shade. I just didn't know that. Um, but it's cool that she's going to go on the program and actually perform the theme song, too. So, you know, China, I'll give you a checkpoint for that. Alright, next. In addition to the TV appearances, Utada will be featured in upcoming in the upcoming issue of Pia Music Complex magazine. And she, I believe she'll also be on the cover, if I'm not mistaken. Um... Which is super cool to see Tyler on um, a cover of a magazine, you know? Because um, she hasn't really, as far as I know, I don't think she's been doing any type of promotion like that and for a while. And um, I think there will be an interview in the magazine as well. So that's cool. And Utana's Long Awaited Comeback album for Tom will be released on September 28th, you guys. So, yeah, not that much longer. <laughs> it's almost here. Hmm. I wonder if has the album leaked anywhere. Hmm. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much um all the article. So I'm like, finally, I, I seen it seemed like you know, time I may have some people looking at my videos, um, because I've been saying this for a minute now. So hopefully, you know, hey. If her people looking at her my videos and relaying the information back to her, then it seems like she got some good people in her corner. So I'm happy for your people, Utada. I be, I'm happy for you, Utada. But also I'm happy that you got some good people in your corner too. Um. So I wonder will there be a tour, like um a tour to promote the album, where she goes like city to city and does performances or whatnot. And how long would the tour last? Um, I kind of threw out the suggestion um, that maybe she should try to take maybe like a month and just go full force for a month and just go to all the major hot spots in Japan and um, perform. Or, on the other hand, she could just stay in, say, Tokyo and perform at one big venue repeatedly. Kind of like a residency. Um... And do that for maybe like a month. And also release a tour DVD of the tour. You know? A DVD of the tour concert. And I think that would satisfy fans. It probably wouldn't be like, you know, it would be give them enough. You know? And give them enough. So long story short, it seems like Utada is finally starting to take this comeback a little seriously at least. You know, it seems like she's not trying to do go about it like totally lazy you know maybe she may have thought that she was invincible invisible or invincible maybe she thought that she ain't had to put in no work you know a lot of celebrities do think like that when it comes to like the music side like a lot of musical artists get to a point where like okay I can just put out the album without doing any promotion or legwork for the album and it will like depending on this particular musical artist it probably could sell a little bit at least it probably won't totally just not sell anything but the sales won't won't be what you expect probably like they'll be on the low side of sales um you know but i will say like after a certain point like a lot of musical artists do that though and i'm not sure if it's just out of being lazy or just like maybe they feel like they sort of graduated from that point you know graduated from that at that point but don't knock promotion don't knock it you know promotion is very important you can have the best product but without proper promotion 
it won't sell like it won't go anywhere and notice that some products that aren't like really good but have good promotion sell really well you know um but i think i said all i have to say for the time being so thanks a lot you guys feel free to comment feel free to subscribe feel free to give me a thumbs up your feedback and support are extremely appreciated and extremely valued into the next video adios and goodbye for now